A certain number has exactly 8 factors including 1 and itself. Two of its factors are 21 and 35. The number is exactly 8 factors. Two of its factors are 21 and 30. I don't know what kind of number has exactly 8 factors. But I know this number is a multiple of 21 and 35. So I'm going to write down multiples of 21. 21 is a multiple of 21. 42 is a multiple of 21. 63 is a multiple of 21. 84 is a multiple. 35 is a multiple of 35. 70 is a multiple of 35. 105 is a multiple of 35. Beautiful. A number is a multiple of 21. 21 has sitting inside it 3 and 7. 3 and 7 are co prime, they are both prime numbers, they are, they are relatively prime with each other. Or this number is a multiple of 3 and it is a multiple of 7. It is a multiple of 21, it has to be a multiple of 3, it has to be a multiple of 7. It is a multiple of 35. 35 is 5 into 7, it is a multiple of 5, it is a multiple of 7. So, our beautiful number, based on the information given to us, we can say that it is a multiple of 3 and 7 and 5 and 7. So put these two together, put these two pieces of information together. It is a multiple of 3 and 7 and a multiple of 5 and 7. 3 and 7 and a 5 and 7. So, think about it. 7 is sitting in both of these places. So, our number is a multiple of 3. It is a multiple of 5, it is a multiple of 7. So, the number we are looking for is a multiple of 3, 5 and 7 or 3 into 5 is 15, 15 into 7 is 105. The number we are looking for is a multiple of 105. We are able to multiply these 3 and go to 105 because they are co-prime. 3, 5 and 7 have nothing in common. If you think about it, we are, what we are elaborately doing is finding the LCM of 21 and 35 number is a multiple of 21, it's a multiple of 35, then it will be a multiple of the LCM of 21 and 35. LCM of 21 and 35 is 105. The number we are looking for is a multiple of 105. That much we know. But well, let's, let's look at this 105. So our number could be 105. It could be 210. It could be 315. It could be 420. It could be 525, etc. Et Any of these. Right? But we know that our number has exactly 8 factors. And so, any one of these numbers or whichever one of these numbers has exactly 8 factors, we find that number, we are true. I right? want to think about 105. Think about how many factors 105 has. 105 is 3 into 5 into 7. We can write it as 1 into 105 or 3 into 5 into 7 is 35 or 5 into 3 into 7 is 21 or 7 into 3 into 5 is 15. It is not a multiple of 2, it is not a multiple of 4, 6, 8, it is not a multiple of 9, 10, 11, 12, it is an odd number. I think once you have written these 4, we have written on pretty much everything. So, the factors 105 has are 1, 3, 5, 7, 15, 21, 35, 105. How many factors does it have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 105 has 8 factors or that is the number. Lovely. Now, 210 might also have 8 factors. 420 might also have 8 factors. So, we will worry about that. Now, 210 is a multiple of 105. All of these will be factors of 210. Is there any other additional factor for 210? Yeah, 210 is an even number. 2 is a factor. There is already a 3 present in it. 6 is a factor. 10 is a factor. So, 210 has factors apart from these 8. So, any multiple of 105 will have all the factors of 105. And at the very least, itself 210 is a factor of 210, 315 is a factor of 315, 420 is a factor of 420. So, if 105 has 8 factors, any other multiple of 105 will have more than 8 factors. So, the number that has exactly 8 factors, 105 has 8 factors and 105 is the only possible answer, the others do not feature. These will all have more than 8 factors. Hush.